Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us live from Washington tonight as she does every Friday. Margaret, good to see you. The president goes to Scotland next. Why is this European trip an important one for him? Well, we're going to press the Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, on that question when he joins us uh, on Sunday's show. But what they are signaling at this point at the White House is that this is really just about um, showing that America is back and engaging with its allies, no longer going to have the kind of friction that the Trump administration did at some of these global summits or lack of engagement on issues like climate change. In fact, they are hoping to signal their their interest um, when they go to Glasgow to this global summit. But it is uh, the former Secretary of State, now Climate Envoy, John Kerry, who's really going to be the one who has to put that deal in place. And he's got until November. So uh, without that deadline looming, it, it feels like what we will hear out of Glasgow are more promises to deliver on climate change. And for pr President Biden at this point, it's a little bit uh, tougher sell, given that he hasn't been able to get his own party fully on board to sign off on the $555 billion in climate change proposals that he has put forward. Those are expected to be drafted into a bill, but that bill is being written as we speak and is far from law. So he doesn't arrive with that done deal in his back pocket. So trying to engage with his allies on the Hill was the president before he left for his trip overseas. He announced a new framework for his Build Back Better agenda and hoped that Congress would jump at the opportunity to pass it. The bill has been scaled back. What obstacles do Democrats face as they try to lock down some key votes on this? Well, remember, this is Democrats negotiating with their fellow Democrats. Republicans aren't even a part of this conversation at this point. This is just about the party coming to an agreement on what they can get through. The president's framework, as you rightly described it, uh, really needs some meat put on those bones um, and, and built out in order for progressives in the House to say that they are going to support it and release uh, w w what they have held up here, which is the accompanying infrastructure bill, the roads and bridges bill that does have Republican support. So we will put all of this uh, before a, a key progressive voice, uh, Congressman Ro Khanna, when he joins us on Sunday to say, you know, are we there yet? Do you have a date on the calendar at least to, to come to a vote on the floor for the president's agenda? Margaret, we'll see you Sunday. Thank you. You can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030.